we cooking today, Joyce? It's not going to be enough food. Oh, no? <laughs> uh -oh. Chicken with um, cheese wrapped around and then sheer it and then put it in the oven. I'm okay. going to make a mango puree. Okay. Cold. Uh, you don't even need to cook it. I'm going to show you how to bone the chicken. I'm not cutting the skin off because I need the skin to wrap around. This is wash and I pet dry it. But I'm going to cut some fat out. You can also use chicken breast. But we like that meat, right? Yeah, they have more flavor. Mm, this is a tip of the knife. I cut the lamb, right? Then I save the bone to make soup. Nothing goes to waste. But even when I make like quick soup, it's good to have the ball. See that? That's a little bone in the meat. See that? This, this is a piece of bone. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to pull this back. So this is the bone. That's a soft bone where the joint is. I don't mind it, but I think you're not going to like it. That's why I'm going to cut it out. It's all coming off as one piece? Yeah. I want it to be one piece because it, it's easier to put the cheese in the middle. See, this is the soft bone. I'm going to cut. But I don't want to have a hole. If I get a little bit soft bone, it's okay. I'm not going to kill you. See that? Okay. Hole can come out. If you use the breast, you don't need to do this. But for the leg, sometimes they have the tendon. And you just pull a few couple of big ones. It's not difficult. That's a bone? Not bone. So that makes that makes it rough and then you they make it um, chewy. We don't want that. Right? No, you don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. We'll make it tender. Yeah, tenderized. I love this. I, I search high and low for it. And guess where I find it? Where TJ Max. <laughs> Little salt or cognac. Maybe after all, it's enough food, but not for the village, just for mm -hmm. you and me. <laughs> okay. Coleman said, I don't care. The village is not eating. It's not my problem. Cognac brandy. <laughs> See, you cannot distract me. I'm cooking. I am using a new cheese. What is this it? This is called Fontana cheese. Oh, that's good, Joyce. Yeah, I know. Well, let's get enough cheese for the chicken first before we start eating. Lay it like this. Put it in the middle and wrap around it. Oh, wow. It's going to melt? Yeah, that's the good part. Okay, I'm going to... So it. That's why I didn't cut any skin. So you're gonna cut it off later? No. It will be crispy. It won't mm. want to cut it off. You want to eat it. That's true. Fried chicken. Try to close it as the best I can. Because I don't want the cheese to leak out. And then I'm gonna see. Maybe the cheese is too big. <laughs> cut a little piece out. Then I can put it in the other one. Okay. I know how to show. Can you help? <laughs> yeah. Really? It's pretty, uh, it's pretty talented, Joyce. <laughs> well, you're crazy. Yeah, but that's the idea. And I'll do the rest of them. I'm going to turn the oven to 450 to heat to the little oil. Because it's going to be a little fatty. Don't do a little too much oil, like one tablespoon. You should know how to cook by now. Um, sometimes. Not really, Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. <laughs> everything in it. Don't get too close, it's really splashing. Don't move mm -hmm. it or it's gonna be sticking. People always say that, oh, it's sticking, it's sticking. It's not sticking. You just feel a little patient. I'm gonna turn it a little lower than it would be less flat. I'm just gonna roll it around to brown it. See that, you can tell. Nice, right? Yeah, it smells good too, Already? Cook a little better without all this splash before I put it in the oven. This asparagus is from the green market. I soak it with a little salt. But sometimes they have sand buried in here. I'm just gonna use the tip of it. So I want to sort of like the same blend. Whoa, that is a good one. <laughs> because this one is thinner, but I'm gonna turn it back on and cook a little bit more before I put it in the oven. I'm gonna fold the whole thing in the oven. I want you to that for. Um, we tap, the chicken is very thick. I'm going to turn it into um, 400. Yeah, I'm going to make the sauce, but this is just a puree. Um, I don't not even cooking it. Are mangoes always in season? No. You should learn this because this is the easier way to... But even you make mango salad, you can do that. This one, I'm using it to make the puree. That's why I want it to be um, mushy. Do the same thing. 
The skin's never good on a mango. You want to try? No. <laughs> it's, it's bitter. Mmm. Is it ready? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It looks really good. Let's use a knife. Nothing is ready. I, I think we're close. We can put it back. Turn around a little bit. Cook it a little bit more. I think this little one is done. I'm holding it back anyway. When the cheese come out cold and like that. <laughs> Maybe another seven minutes. Turn the water on. I want to blanch the asparagus. Wow, a lot of cheese come out. Not supposed to. Looks good though. <laughs> More like mac and cheese. That's why it looks good. I'm going to put it back, but I want to put it in the boiler. I will turn this off because I need to wash this. Well, I'm going to turn it into a boiler, then I'm going to watch it. But you can tell it's got to be good, right? It smells good already. And it looks good, Joy. It looks like a little picnic. It looks like hens. This is the fun part, right, Joy? Well, no, no eating is the fun part. I should pick it out and put some honey on top of it to really brown it. Okay. This pan is too big for me. Maybe we have the sauce already. Don't worry, Joyce, that cheese won't go to waste. I know that. <laughs> yeah, more dramatic, you know what I mean? Okay. Let's spread the... See, I try to close it. I can eat it right off that pan, Joyce. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. It's not gonna be bad. I'm gonna turn this back on. But I want to burn it. See that? Crispying the skin off. Whoa. Okay, let it rest. Bury this in here. Because also this asparagus is not that thick, I can come back to a boil. And I'm gonna turn it off. And take it out. If you, if you buy from the store, you might have to cook it for a little longer. Because this is fresh. Yeah, I'm gonna put some lemons in it. Don't use the white because the white will be um, bitter. You bring out the flavor. You don't have to fancy thing. You can use a spoon. Do you put lemon in your mango salad too? Yeah. Now let it sit for a little while. Then I put it in the food processor and then puree it. And that's the sauce. The whole thing. For you? <laughs> it's not that much. A little bit of sugar. Not a lot because it's pretty sweet. One, two, three should be done. This is just a pocket of air underneath it. There it goes. Yeah. Okay, I think that's done. <laughs> you can have. It's like a dessert, Joyce. You just eat it like that. Oh, definitely. That pretty much goes with uh, anything, aren't you? Ice cream? <laughs> well, you know, it's nothing to it. This one for Joyce. <laughs> Small ones. See, I want the cheese to be like this. Yeah, oozing out. Yeah. But it's going to be really tender, you can tell. Right, All right, I'm gonna put some cheese and then a little bit of the puree. Okay, extra time. Okay,